In this video, we'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the 2023 Ordinary Level Maths Leave Insert. I recommend you try the question before watching, and if you get stuck anywhere, feel free to ask for help in the comments. I will do my best to get back to you. Check out my channel for a playlist with all the other questions. In question six, we're going to be looking at functions, a bit differentiation, and um, sort of a bit of graphs, I guess. The function specifically will be quadratic. Yeah, they'll all be quadratic equations that we're looking at. Okay, to start off, a part one. They give us this function here, uh, gx. Won't always be fx, they'll be gx, hx, different things like that. In this case, gx is equal to x squared plus 8x minus 6. And they ask us to find g of minus 5. Now, g of x equals this. g of minus 5 also equals this. Just everywhere you see an x, you now put a minus 5. That's what they're telling. This is how, another way to read this is, when I put x in, this comes out. When I put minus 5 in, well, this will come out, except everywhere there's an x, it'll be a minus 5. So minus 5 squared plus 8 multiplied by minus 5, minus 6. And we just clean this up. Minus 5 multiplied by minus 5 is plus 25. And plus 8 by minus 5 is minus 40 and minus 6. Again, clean this up. This is 15 uh, take away a 6 is 9, I think. Let me just double check my notes. Ah, no, that is a mistake. It's actually minus uh, 21, of course. Uh, this isn't 15. This is minus 15. Minus another 6 is uh, minus 21. Apologies. Oh, that's, uh, that's part 1 already done. Um, so this is very common of a question to see. Uh, they'll give you a function and just ask you to put numbers into it. Um, they might add, give you a few different ones. Well, that's very common. You'll see that every exam. Okay, on to part two. Uh, part two says, use calculus to find the value of x for which the minimum, which gives the minimum value of gx. So we're still using the same function. I've gone ahead and row it again. And there's a couple of clues in that question. They say use calculus. Calculus is different, well, for your, um, as far as you need to know at least, uh, calculus is differentiation. Differentiation is inside calculus, but it's the only part of calculus you guys do. Uh, in an ordinary level. So when you see calculus, you should be thinking differentiation. That's your first clue. Next clue is they say minimum value. So if you ever see minimum or maximum, you should be thinking differentiation. Specifically, you should be thinking derivative equals zero. So either, however you look at it, we're gonna have to get the derivative of this. So let's go ahead and differentiate. Remember our rules to differentiate. Um, the power, the number up here, multiplies in the front. So 2 comes down, multiplies, x, and it gets 1 smaller, x to the power of 1. We don't bother. Go ahead and write the 1 if you want. It's no harm, it's, but we don't usually write it. Again, the power that's up here, there's a 1, multiplies in front. 1 times 8 is 8, and it gets 1 smaller. 0. When you get to 0, you don't write it at all. Again, technically you could write x0 if you wanted, but uh, really we don't. Don't bother. It won't confuse the examiner, but um, probably confuse you more than the examiner. And then the last number, a number doesn't change when x changes, so it just becomes 0. So here's what we have. Um, the derivative is 2x plus 8. Now, it's at a minimum, so we also know this equals 0. The whole derivative equals zero. Let me write that again up here. 2x plus 8 equals zero. And remember, they're asking us to find the value of x. Should be quite easy to find the value of x from here. Let's rearrange things. Take 8 from both sides. 2x equals minus 8. Uh, divide both sides by 2. Gets rid of that 2. And minus 4. x is equal to minus 4. So they ask you to find the value of x for which this is a minimum. x is minus 4. Um, now some might be asking, how do you know that's not a maximum? The derivative equals 0 at a minimum or a maximum. Um, you don't need to answer that anywhere. I'm just I'm going to tell you guys. Uh, this function here is a quadratic. It's a positive quadratic. We know it looks roughly like this. There's no maximums in that function. There's only one 
minimum and the derivative equals zero because the derivative is the same as the slope that's that's why if this function had been cube a uh, x to the power of three they usually look something like this that has a minimum and a maximum a lot harder to do and they will they will sometimes ask you a question like this a bigger question um, and we'll probably see one of them um, later on in this exam or I haven't looked ahead or perhaps in uh, paper two. Okay, let me rub this out and we move on to part B. Okay, in part B, they simply give us this and ask us to expand it. Now, a lot of students probably got confused by that. What do you mean by expand? All they mean is do everything you can do. <laughs> like multiply anything that multiplies by something. Uh, square something out in this case is what you're gonna do. Add, add things together at the end. Um, expand, basically we're gonna make this bigger. We're gonna have a quadratic after this. We're gonna expand it out. Often they tell you to factorize things. That usually means make it smaller. Expand makes it bigger, factorize makes it smaller. Okay, how do we expand this? Well, there's something here that's asking us to do something. This bracket with a square. Let's write that again as two x minus four multiplied by two x minus four minus six. Yeah, you have, that's expanded it. That's not what they're asking, I'm afraid, and they will take marks away. Although, feel free to write a little note saying, I have expanded it. There you go, you're done. That's not what they wanted. What they want is, is to stay going. Multiply this bracket by this bracket. 2x by 2x, 2x by 4, 4 by 2x, I should say minus 4 by minus 4. So let's do all them out. Uh, 2x by 2x gets 4x squared. 2x by minus 4 gets minus 8x. Minus 4 by 2x gets minus 8x. And minus 4 by minus 4 gets plus 16. Also the minus 6 was here. Let's put that in. Now some students actually can do this in their head quite good. Go ahead, but I'll, I'll stay showing the longer way. Now let's clean this up a little bit. Minus 8x, minus 8x, they go together. Numbers, they go together. So if we clean this up, we get 4x squared minus 16x. Just putting these two together. Uh, 16 take away 6 is plus 10. That's it. That's uh, that expanded. That's all they wanted us to do for part B. Okay, for part C, they give us this quadratic equation and ask us to solve it. This, again, is one of the most famous questions to, to get in the exam. You'll probably have to answer it probably twice in every exam, probably in maybe three times, once or twice in each paper, a, a quadratic question will come up. It's a very common thing to answer. Um, most subjects you do in college, you'll end up doing more quadratics. They're very common things to come up. So they ask us to solve this. Uh, there is one clue I'll just point out. They say to give the answer correct to two decimal places. Now that means your answer is not gonna be uh, a nice uh, whole number or even a nice fraction because they would have asked for a fraction in that case. That means we're not going to be able to factorize this. You can go ahead and try. Um, some students like factorizing, they're good at it. Go ahead and try. It's not going to work out too evenly for you. There are other ways which I won't go on into here, uh, completing the square and stuff like that. Um, it's more of an honor level stuff. I will suggest you use, if, and if you have any trouble with quadratic equations, there is one method. You don't have to learn all these other methods. There's one method that always works for solving it. And that's the minus b formula. x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I do recommend students make, make sure you're able to do this because, well, in this case, you have to use it. Well, you don't have to, but you pretty much have to use it. And it nearly always works. So I do recommend take a book out, find, a, find the area that does this question. They'll give you 10, 20, 100 examples. Just go through them. Make sure you're able to use this. Um, and I'll go through it now just to help you guys out. Okay, first of all, we need to know what A, B, and C are. A equals B equals and C equals. A is the number in front of the X squared, which is nine. B is the number in front of this x, which is six, and C is the number that's there, which is minus five. Be careful about the minuses. If this was a minus, 
this would be a minus u. The minuses are included. Okay, so now just let's go ahead and fill out this equation again. X equals, but instead of A, B, and C, we're going to put numbers in. Minus B, minus 6, plus or minus the square root of B squared, 6 squared, minus 4 times 9 instead of A, and uh, minus 5 instead of C, all divided by 2 times 9. All right, let's start cleaning that up. We'll write this again. Minus 6, plus or minus... This is 36. Um, go ahead and do this in a calculator. If you can't do it in your head, minus by minus gets a plus. Uh, four times five is 20. 20 times nine is 180. Don't try and do that in your head in the exam. I wouldn't do this in my head in the exam. Even though I'm able to do it, I would just use a calculator, especially in an exam. All this over two times nine, 18. Uh, clean it up again, minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 216 all divided by 18. Okay, at this point we're going to have to deal with this plus or minus. Basically the world's going to split in two. On this side we'll have, remember x is equal all this, x is equal minus 6 plus square root of 216 over 18. And on this side we'll have x is equal minus 6 minus 216 over 18. So basically this is giving us two different answers. And that's okay because they ask us, give each answer. So they're, they're telling us there's more than one answer. And for quadratics we usually get two answers. Now you go ahead and put these in your calculator and uh, you will get, let me make sure I get the right ones for you. This one you will get um, x is equal 0 0.48 remember you have to round this off correctly i haven't i haven't wrote in my notes what that, that was so i'm gonna have to leave that for you guys to do and this one is equal to minus 1.15 again i rounded off to two two decimal places as they asked okay so that answers uh, this question as always if you have any follow-up questions to this just leave them in the comments below i'll do my best to answer and again, my advice is make sure you can use the minus B formula. It comes up once, once, uh, well, it usually comes up every exam, and but you can go ahead and use it for every quadratic, even the easier ones that can be factorized. Anyway, like I said, any questions, ask me in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.